What's up everybody, this is Brad from Stereo Breed Media and I have another quick tip for you in Adobe Premiere Pro just to speed up your editing process. Um, before we get started with this tutorial, I want to let you know that it is 5 in the morning and I've been in here editing all night. So I really am in here all the damn time and I don't get sleep. Team no sleep. Shout out to J-Law. But let's get into it and let's, uh, let's show you what we're going to be doing here. <clears throat> so we got this clip over here and it's all loaded up and pretty much uh, we just want a segment of this clip so he's gonna put his arms up once and I want it the second time when he stood in the center of the frame so we want to start around here um, and then we'll end around right there so this is a uh, 720p um, video and the rest of the footage is in 1080p so the reason that I shot it in 720p is when you shoot in 720p on a DSLR, you can shoot at 60 frames per second so you can get slow motion. Um, as you can see here, here's all the frame rates. Uh, the 24 frame per second are the 1080p clips and the 60 frame per second are the 720p clips. So pretty much what we need to do is import this, cut it down to where it needs to be, uh, scale it up to the 1080p comp, and slow it down for slow-mo. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do that, uh, how most people do it, and this way is okay, but it's really, really, really slow. So I'm going to show you how to speed up the process. I'm going to do it the original way first to show you how slow it is. So let's drag this clip into our comp, and uh, this is also linked with audio, so we also have to unlink the audio. Um, so let's start by unlinking the audio, and we will right-click the clip and hit unlink so that the two are separated click the audio and hit delete on the keyboard. So now if you look at the video footage you can obviously see that uh, it's not as big as the rest of the comp. So you need to right click it and go to scale to frame size. <clears throat> so once that is scaled up the frame size we get a full frame in our 1080p comp. You can right click it again and hit speed duration and at the speed, since we shot it at 60 frames per second and we're trying to go down to 24, uh, that's actually a even 40% to slow it down to. So now it's at its maximum uh, slow speed without uh, having dropped frames. So now we're just going to edit over until the second time he goes to put his hands up right there. All right, and we'll drag that back over. We'll scrub through this until we want it to be done. In this case, it's just the end of the clip. So we'll go ahead and edit that back in over there. So this way is uh, perfectly fine on if you want to do this, but there is a much, much faster way. It requires a very minimal amount of setting up, and it'll work for all the clips in the future. So we're going to go ahead and delete that one and do this again. Um, the first thing is you... We're scrubbing through the clip right here in our source window. So let's actually just go ahead and scrub to where we want it to cut in at. So right there is where we want it to cut in. And let's uh, hit this button here, which is the mark in point. So you can mark the end point and bang, it's already in. Now, <clears throat> to show you this next part on how speedy it is uh, and how much we took on the first time compared to now, I'm gonna drag this clip in and use key commands to do everything I did originally for me. So I'm going to drag it in, uh, use a key command to unlink it, to scale it to frame size, and to hit the 40% uh, slow mode duration. Plus, what this endpoint did is the point or the clip will start at this endpoint whenever we drag it into our comp. So let's drag this in. <clears throat> All right, and we'll highlight our clip and hit U to unlink, delete the audio, highlight again, hit M to scale it up, N to bring up the speed duration, hit 40%, bang, and we're drop it over there, and bang, we're done. Crop that in there. Okay, and that was about. 10 times faster than doing it the other way. No matter how fast you can move your mouse, you can always just hit three keys on the keyboard faster. Um, 
So how you would do that is if you go to Premiere Pro and go to Keyboard Shortcuts. I think this is either in the File or Edit menu on Windows computers. But you need to find three things. The first one is the Unlink, which is Link, so just search Link. And I changed that on mine to You, so I can unlink the video and audio. Another one, if you just search Scale, uh, Scale to Frame Size, I changed that to M for me. And then the next one is speed and duration, which you need to find. And you can change that one to N or whatever you want, but that's what I changed it to. And yeah, so once you learn those key commands and you get used to them, which takes about five minutes in an editing process to do, uh, you can do that. So it'll definitely speed up your uh, workflow. So that's just another quick Pro or Premiere Pro tip. Yeah, I need to finish this and then we'll start working on something else. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Peace.